South and Southwest played for the 2010 Minneapolis Championship on May 17th at Neiman Field. The teams were locked in a scoreless tie for the first half of the game, but Nick Rebar led off the bottom of the fourth with a double to right center. After the next batter, Miles Westrich hit a bloop single to left. Abe Welkley kept the rally going with a shot past the third baseman that allowed Rebar to score. Nate Trellstead then wrapped a double to right, scoring Westrich. Mike Clark followed with a double to bring in two more runs. The Tigers went on to win the game 6-2 to clinch the city championship. We got the transfer from father to son there. Okay, you got here in time. You want a hot dog or hammer? <laughs> oh, it feels good. It feels All right, good. a lot of pressure in that last inning, I'm sure. So yeah. Have Nate on the mound. Were you feeling okay? I was fine. I don't know about Andrew. Well, well. He was pacing. So, no, I was fine. It was, uh, I, I didn't have a dollar with Nate on the mound, so. Good. And if anything, we had Miles, so. Yep, yep, he had a bunch of, a few good pitchers behind him, so it was good to know you guys had a good roster out there today. I was cool. fine. Talked cool. to Andrew, he was probably shaking a little bit, but that's Andrew, so it was good. So congratulations, your first season, the city championship. Thanks. And uh, yeah, I don't want to put it on the spot too much, but tell us what you're thinking about out there today at the game. Uh, you know, I just told the guys I hope that they uh, they enjoyed it and had fun with the game. Uh, and that, uh, you know, to focus on the process and not the results. And uh, they did that, you know, they took care of the little things and they played hard and they played together, so. Great, well it really showed out there. It was really a sharp effort by the team all around. A little bit dicey in the end there, yeah. and yet they still kept their composure and held yeah. on to that nice yeah, generous really lead. It's, it's, they're um, they're tough, tough kids and tough competitors, so it's, um, it's, it's fun to coach guys and play hard all the time. So it's a great team win for us. Cool. We're looking forward to the, the rest of the exciting season and years to come in South. Yep, we got some, uh, some important games coming up, so All nice right. to go here. Thanks a lot, Coach. Yep. Tell you more. <laughs> no, but I just wanted to ask, just congratulate you on your pitching victory, seven strong innings, and uh, how, how did you feel out there today? Uh, I felt good, and uh, I, mean, I was throwing my curve for strikes, and the fastball was working, everything was working, it just... It's yep. just great. That felt great. Yeah, I saw a few of those curveballs just kind of drop off the table, and we were we were really surprised. We haven't ever seen that that yeah. ar that weapon from your arsenal before. So yeah, that's pretty I, good. I usually just throw, throw fastballs. That's it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the last, I'd say the run or two, you know, very close at the end. You know, just a, a few little bobbles, or you might even have a shutout. So you really had a dominating performance out there today. So yeah. congratulations. Great, thanks. All right, good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you. Okay, Nate, Thank take care. Congratulate you. This is Nick Rebar, the uh, first baseman and uh, number two hitter. And uh, Nick, you had a strong day out there, two for four with a double and some really nice offensive plays at first. So, uh, how'd you? Did you enjoy the game out there today? Oh, it was the best feeling I've ever had. It's 
I mean, to win this is so big, and I'm just glad we could do it our senior year. That's great. Yeah, well, congratulations. And when's the last time that South had won the uh, city championship? 2004. 2004. So it's a long time coming, but you guys earned it. You looked really good out there today. All right, we're here with Abe Welkley. He's the starting third baseman today, a senior. And uh, Abe had, was two for three with a walk, had a uh, RBI as well, a key player in today's big victory against Southwest. And uh, I'm just going to turn this way a little bit to get the better. If you can, yeah, there, now I can see your face a little bit better. So, Abe, uh, tell us. Tell us what you felt like out there when you were playing out on the field today? You know, it was a great feeling uh, being out there, finally winning the city championship. Just one of the best feelings I've ever had. So, yeah, it was, cool. it was exciting. Yeah, and it was a long time coming, 2004, one of the other players told me since the city championship. So, yeah, it was really a great accomplishment by you guys as a team. Um, tell me about uh, kind of the last few outs and, you know, what you were thinking and, and how those went. You know, I missed that pop-up, and uh, I thought I could have caught that one, but, you know, everybody came together, and we, we got him out, and they, they pitched the gem, and, yeah. Yeah, just, and just for the record, it was not a routine pop-up. He made it all the way to the screen, all the way to the uh, to the screen on the side of Fort Snelling, and that's a pretty pretty long distance from the foul uh, line to that, so that was great hustle on your part, and tough with the, on a windy day, but you made a good, good try at it, and you're right, your teammates... Weren't it all flustered? You know, a few things could have gone your way and didn't in this game. You guys, I thought you really held together well. So, um, and then tell us what's coming up next week. Next week we got the city championship on the line, or the Twin Cities championship. Uh, Great. We're going to take it to one of the St. Paul teams, just like we took it to Southwest. Cool, cool. Well, we'll look forward to seeing that. And where's that being played? Is it at Fort Snelling? The or? Dome. The Dome, all right. Dome. We're going to try to fill up the Dome, all right. One Everybody's going to call their... One last thing. You bet. Everybody's doing Everybody's what? Hey! <laughs> All right, I have no idea what that means, but I'll just kind of smile here. All right, thanks a lot, Abe. Good game, everybody. See you later, guys. Okay, we're here with first base coach Lloyd Clark. And Lloyd, um, great season. Congratulations on everything. And I do want to say before you even say anything, Lloyd, uh, congratulations. I, I should say also, um, you know, just thank you for being there all season long at all the practices. Uh, off season as well as on season with all the players, you really were a great, great help with Coach Bennett and with the program coming together. So I just wanted to acknowledge that. So there's no real questions, Abe. Or, <laughs> Lloyd, just tell tell me your thoughts about the game today. My thoughts of the game: the guys came ready to play. They played. They left it all out of the field. They gave it everything they had. All hearts. Something they've done all year long. And yeah, that was pretty pretty easy to see from the stands. They were definitely holding together and I think one of the things that I noticed the most were that they were in in the face of adversity they didn't fold when you know a ball didn't go their way or they didn't get a call or something like that it, it seemed like there really wasn't any stopping them even when those kind of things happened what were your any thoughts on that uh, well they've been doing that all year you know bad call here or there they, they come right back they there's no quit in these guys none, Good. none whatsoever okay okay I have one last question before I before I ask if you have anything else you want to say uh, no, not really. Okay, I was. Although I was, it's been fun. Good. I, yeah, I could tell you ride. really. I could <laughs> tell you really had a good time out there, and it showed you were doing a great job. So here's the question: I was interviewing one of the seniors who will remain nameless, and he said, "Everybody's doing it." We were wondering if you could explain what that means. Everybody's, everybody's doing it, huh? That means everybody's uh, got a little piece of the pie, and everybody's doing their job, and it's one team effort. Cool. There is no individuals on this team. It's all a team effort. Awesome, as it should be. Exactly. Well, thanks a lot, Lloyd. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay.